Hi guys. Uh, I got a question this morning uh, that I made a quick answer for. Uh, it is how to set the colours of um, of game objects or the colour tint of a mesh uh, randomly when it starts up. So what I've created here is uh, when it plays, it will set the mesh colour to a random value. Okay, and it picks these values out of uh, a list. So in the um, in the inspector, you can select which colours you want to have. So if I put a uh, like a turquoise one in there, and then we play, we should start seeing turquoise showing up. Maybe. Or will it? There we go. Ah, the joys of randomness. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a um, uh, a scene here. It's got five cubes. Each of these cubes has this color tint script, and the color tint script is this. Um, let me just zoom out in a bit. So first up, we've got a reference to system collections generic. Uh, we need that because we're using a list, which is a generic list. And you can tell it's generic because it's got little uh, triangle brackets. Uh, the second thing we need is uh, a require, um, sorry, uh, an attribute, which is a require component type of renderer. This is because we want to be able to add this to anything, not just cubes. Uh, but if it doesn't have a renderer, then um, uh, then it's not going to be able to do anything. So we're then making a list of uh, color, uh, and this is public so that we can set it inside the uh, inspector. And we're calling that tint colors. So then in the start uh, method, uh, first up, we need to find out if the, the user set any of these. If the the number of tint colors is uh, is greater than zero, then we actually want to then use one of the colors. If not, we just want to skip and leave the start method. So then what we're doing is we're getting a random number. So we're getting a, a random, we're using random range to get a, a random number between zero and the number of uh, color, uh, the number of entries in the, the tint color list. Now random range does um, a range between a and B, A is ex A is inclusive, so it will include zero, right? Uh, but B, the second number, is exclusive, so it won't contain count. So, for example, if we did this, right? Random range in this case would give us a number between any number between zero and nine, okay? And the reason that I think Unity have done it this way is because this random range is most likely going to be used to get an index. Uh, and an index starts at zero and goes to um, the list count minus one. So that's what we're doing. So that's, that's us getting our random index and then we're using the square brackets here to pass it into uh, uh, the tin color. And what this is doing is this then returns the color that is at that pos at this position in the list, and we're just calling that C as a reference. So then, what we're doing is we're using get component renderer, and this is getting the the renderer uh, mono behavior from the uh, from the game object. And because we've got this required component, it will have one, even if it's not used. Um, if if we add this color tint selector to a game object it will automatically add this in because it realizes that we need it. Um, so get component renderer returns a reference to the renderer. Uh, can't say that. Uh, and then we're getting the material and the color and we're setting that equal to C. So what this does is gets us a random color from our list of colors and then sets the material color to it. And it's really simple. It, it doesn't really do a lot. Um, 
So then what we've got is uh, in the inspector, we've got the ability to create uh, this tint color. If we just want to switch between two of them, like black and white, we can do, oops, we can do this. There we go. Actually, I don't want, uh, I'm lost. There we go, this is what we want, there we go. So now if we do this, we should have one of them is black here. Excellent. So let me, which one did I do that on? I did that on four. So let me just disable all of them. And we can see this should randomly select between white and still white and black. So yeah, there we go. Hope you uh, find this useful. This has been a pretty, a pretty quick how-to. Um, if you want to copy the code, I'll stick it on the screen here. So if you just want to pause now and grab that, that's okay. Awesome. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Rock on. Bye.